2010 Hyundai, Hyundai Accent. Uh, money lights on, and I believe, now I looked at this car a couple weeks ago, two, three weeks ago, it had a PO500, I believe. I haven't plugged peer into it yet. Probably should, because there's more, uh, which indicates a vehicle speed sensor problem. Well, I'm at the wheel. Well, this car does not have ABS, however, it has one wheel speed sensor on the right front. Uh, this little guy here. The other odd part is the speedometer still works. Driving on the road, speedo still works. Everything works. Just has this PO500. I looked on service data now, several weeks ago again, and it indicated a problem with the right front wheel speed sensor. Of course, the only one on this car. Uh, I remember popping your fender down, just checking it uh, for resistance, and the, and the sensor's completely open circuited. Um, so let's change this out. We'll look back through some service data, see what. Uh, what and why and how the system works and if the speedometer works why in the heck is this thing even necessary whatsoever unless it has some kind of funky default strategy you know it uses this primarily i don't know we're gonna douche it down with some old gibbs oh uncle gibbs that's what they should call this stuff <laughs> that's a better dig through the dirt so gibbs can get in there and do its work daily dirt road driving car like the majority of stuff I work on all right let's get some tools I do have the new sensor we had to wait a while to get this little guy um, the part number on that there she is from napper let's see if there's Anyway, we can get these off without everything crumbling to pieces. I have to give it a little love tap. Oh, look at that. Oh, Gibbs. Well, that's good. That one's loose. Another one on the other side. That one, I got another one up on the firewall or up on the side of the car here. Oh, lucky, lucky, they're all gonna come loose. challenge of getting it out of in here. I don't think Gibbs is going to help us much, but <laughs> I'm going to hit where I'm aiming at. I don't know. What, what's the purpose of that, Eric? See if this one cracks loose friendly. Everything needs a little tap. bolts came out so far <laughs> of course you know that if you're watching the video like the John Madden of auto repair here just overstating the obvious let's get some pliers first of all let's look to make sure our sensor looks right hey it's even got some rating on does that rating match this rating nine five six seven one one echo 100 hey look at that it's even got the same numbers on it be a Reebok Hyundai stuff. I see that a lot with Napper. Sometimes you open up the box and it's the factory part in there. In the electronics, don't tell me that mother lover is going to come right up out of that joint. If it is, I'm going to buy me a case of Gibbs. Not really. We all get excited, I think, with. <laughs> yeah, see, fella. 
That's why this speed sensor didn't work. The sucker's all rusted in the middle. You see that, where the sensor typically goes? That is why. Um, we can't drive it down, and I don't want to pull the axle. So what we'll do is we'll whittle it out from the top of the drill. So we'll just whittle away at the plastic bits here. Wow, that's really strong magnetic. That's a really strong magnet. There we go. Get something smaller. A little way to plastic, we should be able to get it to come out. Hey, we hit gold. Don't be getting in there too deep. <laughs> that's not something we say every day. We don't want to bang up our tone ring because that thing is nothing but solid rust. And you throw that too much, now you're going to be replacing the axle. All right, let's see if we can pick on it a little. Really? Well, let me whittle that a little more. Shouldn't be much holding that sucker in there. <laughs> oh, you did <didn't> not. <laughs> <it. laughs> Look what you did, you shit. I'm always yelling at the kids, don't torque sideways on my drill bits. What do I do? What do I do? Just tell them what I tell them. I'm the adult. Do as I say, not as I do. Right? I wish I could just drive it down, but I don't really want to, like I say, that uh, exciter ring there. There's not that much left to it. Chip that, then we're gonna different problems. Come on, I got there. There's some pieces. Oh, the crusties. Lots of sparks happening. Something's gotta be happening. Hey, look at that. Ta -ta -ta -ta. There's my drill bit. There's the rare earth magnet. There's those pieces. Yeah, right, we better get a blower. We'll clean this off. We'll get her clean out in the hole. She looks clean in there. Best I can tell. Yeah, it looks 
like all the big rust chunks here. Oh, you're shiny. Okay, now we got spray race on. thing lasted nine years in the condition and that it was in the cars only got maybe another year or two before it's in the junkyard so sometimes these preventative measures of the anti-seize and stuff are kind of irrelevant but we still do it just in case you never know but this thing is pretty rough shape Well, it's got new brakes. That's good. There's that. That looks like it goes like that. Right to toasty, man. With the bridge out, everybody's got to go up over this hill. Up over the hill. Up over Jacob's Ladder, it's called. It's a steep little sucker. It's steep going up and steep coming down. Believe it or not. So it's been great for the brake business this year because they're really taking their grand old time replacing the little bridge up here. All right, there's that and that and that. So thankfully everybody's warping all their brake rotors and overheating them. trigger and stuff starts breaking. I'm tighten up the speed sensor before I forget. There's that now. We gotta go fishing boys. Looks like Stack. There's that. All right. We gotta be getting closer. We're running out of wire. There's that one. Oh, and there's another one up there. Nope. He <laughs> just snapped it off. in. We push that inner fender liner down. Okay. Well, that's plugged in, by the way. Well, FYI. The fender liner was tore down through here. It's kind of kind of rough.
these little things back in there. There's a one. And there's a two. And we should be good. There's the old one. Oh, is that this lady again? Hopefully. Let's see if we can get something else from her. Nope, this is a different scam. This one is the police benevolence fund. The guys call and they act like they're these big authorities in the police department and want to know if you'll donate. And then try to make you feel like garbage if you don't. Like, what? You don't love the police? <laughs> the sucky part is they have revolving phone numbers, so you just keep adding them to the block list and every day it's a different number. Same caller ID, just different numbers, so it's kind of a pain. sit on pop pop slap here. We're going back out. Whoop, I'm just gonna try hang on to you because I ain't got my tripod. And then coming look at that 2017 Chevy Silverado. I gotta put training in that. Got transmission coming for that little guy. 2017. Then we got a whole lot full. I got some parked up the street here. Got the DEC truck, gotta do manifolds on that. Whoopee. Oh let's look to see if we're working. Hey, look at that, we're working. Hooray. So we fixed that, basically. Money light's still on. I don't know if they self, if it'll self-clear after a couple cycles or not. Let's see if our, let's see if I can do some knee driving. Let's see if the code went from active to inactive. No, it still says it's active, no kidding. Tell you what, let me let me pull on over on the side of the road. Pull way over. Now look at this relic coming down the street. Think of that thing. Uh, I'm gonna back out. I'm gonna erase the codes. I'll let you guys look at the relic. You don't see them around here too much. Keon engine off. It says. Whoop. <laughs> there you go. There's that guy. Let's see. Code should be gone now. Okay, it is. All right, let's do this. Oh, try to put it in park. All right, yeehaw. So we survived the test drive. We made it back to the shop. I want to see how many of the monitors ran. Monitors okay. Five, three, incomplete. That's not bad for a quick little test drive. But the money light is not on, which is good. Make sure it doesn't have any codes or pending codes for the monitors that it did run. No codes. I'm just curious what it did run, because this car was all warmed up and I did not go on a very long test drive. I'll just see, I don't imagine the EBAP or catalyst set. Let's see, we've got catalyst did not, EVAP, and O2 sensor. All right, now that's it. All right, folks, that's it. Hyundai Accent uh, P0501, that right front speed sensor. Now, I think this is different on a car if it has four-wheel ABS. This one does not. just has one-wheel ABS. Uh, I didn't get a chance to look. Maybe I'll, I'll, maybe I'll try to pop it up on the screen here in the end so you can read the code criteria and stuff like that for it. I remember being surprised when I first came across the code and then seeing that the speedometer still worked and wondered why in the heck we need that other sensor. I thought I read something about it. I don't 100% recall. And honestly, at this point, I really don't care because the car is fixed and uh, we're good to go uh, in that regards. Why don't you get good to go and go down below, ring the bell, subscribe, leave a comment. And just remember, viewers, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.